Anastasia Chatska. I'm a fashion designer, pattern maker, and sewing educator. And I'm so happy you're here sewing along with me today. Today is all about bus cups. I'm gonna show you how to insert these bus cups into any shirt or dress or top or anything that you have where you want a little extra support, a little extra coverage, or maybe you don't want your nipples to show. You can put these in just about anything and it's so easy to do. You don't even need a sewing machine. All you need is a hand sewing needle. So let's go over it. So I have this dress that I made and I absolutely love it. I'm obsessed with this print. It is extremely adorable. But I don't wanna wear a bra with it, so I just want a little bit more coverage and support. So I'm going to sew some bust cups into the lining. So this dress has a lining in it because we did a video on how to put a lining into a dress. So make sure you check that out if you're interested in putting linings in dresses. So we are going to insert the bust cups in between the lining layer and the self layer. If your dress doesn't have a lining, no worries. You don't have to insert them into the lining. You're just going to be putting them on the inside of the garment and we're going to be sewing them to the seams that are already there. The exact same way you would with the lining, but since the lining's not there, you don't have to worry about it. You might be thinking you need to seam rip right about now, but you don't need to. If you have a loose lining, you can just insert them all the way up to the bust area. But if your lining is closed at the waist or something like that, you will need to seam rip it open so that way you can fit the bust cup in it. This lining's loose, so let's insert the bust cups all the way up to the bust. So I'm just gonna make sure I'm in between the lining and the self layer, and I'm gonna put these all the way up here to the bust. And I want the tip of the triangle to be at the tip of the princess line that I have here. And now you can see it's already creating some shape here. So I'm just gonna hold it and put in a few pins to hold it in place. And then after you put some pins in to hold it in place, you're gonna wanna try on your dress to make sure that it is in the right spot and that it does look right on you. And if it doesn't, well, you can just adjust it. You can also cut these foam cups down too. So if the cup is poking out of the design of your dress, you can always just cut it down. Now I'm gonna put the other one in, pin it down and try on the dress. Also, if you're pinning these bust cups in and you do have a lining, make sure you're not pinning the lining to the bust cup. Make sure you're just pinning to the outside of the self fabric and the bust cup. Okay, now you can see we've already got more shape to the bust of our dress when it's laying flat. Now I'm gonna go try this on and make sure the cups are in the right spot. And then we can sew them down. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you subscribe to Sewing Anastasia and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching. Now let's get back to putting in some bus cups. I tried it on and they fit great and they're in the right spot. So now we're gonna take the dress and turn it inside out. And now we can see where these bus cups are. So here's where we need to sew our bust cups. So what we're going to be doing is sewing these bust cups to the seam allowance that's there, and we're going to be tacking it with a hand sewing needle. So let's prep our needle and thread. So I've got my needle and thread prepped. I've got two threads and I've got a nice good knot on the end. You need help on threading a needle and tying a knot, make sure you check out my video on that. There'll be a card up here and a link down below. So we're going to be sewing the tip of the cup to the seam allowance here at the top of the princess line. And then we're also gonna be tacking it and sewing it here at the bottom of the princess line right here. Now I don't have a princess line that reaches the cup over here, so I'm gonna leave this side of the cup open, should be fine. But I've got these two loose pieces here in the front and they do overlap a little bit. So I'm going to also tack these two pieces together as well. And then we'll have this nice shape inset into the dress. And we're gonna be sewing on the seam allowances so that way all these little stitches that we're creating do not show on the outside of the dress. So let's sew them on. So now what I'm gonna do is take my needle and just go through the seam allowance and come up into the cup. And now what I'm gonna do is basically create a whip stitch and I'm gonna do this three times on this side of the seam, and then I'm gonna go over to the seam on the other side and do the same thing. So we've got that one secure, and now what we're gonna do is come over to the other side. Let me flip it around. 
Now we're going to come to the other side over here and do the same thing. So I've got my three whip stitches on each side of the seam holding the cup down. And now we're going to make a knot. So come back up one more time and before you fully pull, take the needle, go through the loop and that's creating a knot. And I want you to do that twice to make sure it's nice and secure. And now we can cut off right above the knot. And there we go. Now the top of the bus cup is nice and secure. And now we're going to do that to the other three spots and secure the middle together. Now that we have it all tacked down, let's turn it right side out, remove our pins, and take a look at it. Okay, so let's remove our pins. And now we have our bus cups nice and secure in the dress. Now's a great time to try it on again and just make sure that they're in the right spot for you. Now you can see how nice and smooth and round the bus is since we put in the bus cups and you can't see any pulling on the outside of the stress or stitches because we just sewed it to that seam allowance. So we are looking great and attaching bus cups was so easy. So now you can put them into all your dresses and hopefully not have to wear a bra ever again. Yeah, right. But this is how you would put in bus cups if you need to. So try it out next time you make a dress. Thanks so much for watching Sewing Anastasia today. If you have any questions about sewing bus cups in, leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. And as always, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and TikTok and all those fabulous social media websites under Sew Anastasia. And don't forget to follow me on YouTube and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for following along with me. And don't forget, I now teach sewing classes virtually and in person in my studio in Chicago, Illinois. So check that out at SewAnastasia.com. Also, if you love the style of this dress, you can download the pattern on my website because I designed it and I have it in sizes 0 through 26. Thanks so much for watching today. Bye!